Oh, we've got a very interesting end to the season. Roll the intro. Hello and welcome back to the NK Zagreb save. It is me, Cultured Left Foot, and I am back from my holiday. Cultured Left Foot, there we go. And I'm back from my holiday, which was absolutely superb. Really relaxing, really nice. Not too sure what's going on with the green screen here. If I go, woo, I think that freaks it out as well. In fact, if I do this, it sort of actually makes it a bit better. And then it's when I do that. Hang on, this, edit, this, this is a weird intro, isn't it? Let's just uh, edit that. Is that making it better or is that making it better? It needs to be there. It's leaning forward a little bit. Ah, well, let's crack on. Interesting end to the season coming up because we're in with a very, very slim chance of winning the league. Last two league games of the season and then a cup final to come. It's been going very, very well. Um, we were last together here for the cup semi-final. We've ploughed on. And if you follow me on Patreon, you'll know that I've been hinting towards this anyway, like the title running and how it's gone. We beat Dynamo 3-2 to make this very, very interesting. Because we beat them, then beat Hey Duke, and they lost their next game. Which made it like five points, I think, or four points at the top. When we drew of Rieka, that would have put us in like one point if we had won that game. That would put us in one point of Dynamo. Uh, we've gone and beaten Lokomotiva 2-0 and Osijek 2-1, which was very lucky. They had a goal disallowed in the 89th minute and scored in the 93rd minute. I thought we'd thrown the game away, but we held on 2-1, um, albeit. And then we've got the two last games. We've got Rudez and Slavin Blupo and Dynamo have Istra. I think is their next game. Yeah, they have Istra and then Osijek. Osijek's not going to be an easy game. But if we have a look at the table, four points is still in it. So we need to win and they need to lose, possibly draw, and then we've still got a potential game. We've already qualified for the Champions League, which is absolutely epic. It's so good. I mean, look at average rates, smashing it. Zerga, Musa, and Paritin all on a 7.38. Paritin's second top goal scorer in the league behind Vlad Cherda. And Hale Selassie, who I've desperately tried to renew his loan for next year. They're not having it. They want to give him a go in the first team, which is fair enough. He has been absolutely brilliant for us since signing. Um, where is he? There he is. Hale Selassie. Absolutely brilliant since signing. 7.37. Um, 10 assists and 7 goals in 25 appearances. Really wish we could get him again, but it looks like we're not going to be able to. But yeah, so much to play for. It's going really, really well. Something that was bizarre that happened, um, Hrubez had, he doesn't any more, I don't think. No, he had Liverpool interested in him for a very, very long time. Which was bizarre. Just really, really bizarre, but... He's, he's going to be released on a free transfer. Again, at the end of the season, there's going to be a big overhaul of the squad. We're going to let loads of young people go. We're going to try and sell loads of youngsters if we can for a bit of money. Um, we're going to try and revamp the squad. We have secured Peritin on loan again next season. I think I've already mentioned that in a previous episode. Trying to get Brito um, and Suter as well. As you can see, we've inquired to actually see how much it will cost him to get him on a permanent deal. Uh, and we've made a bid for Michel Oragio again. Just because he's, so, he's really good. I haven't really given him an opportunity. Six appearances, two assists, 6.92. We'll have to see how it gets on. But let's get into the game where we will also be focusing heavily on uh, Dynamo versus Istra. I've already picked the team. That's how we're going to line up. It's pretty standard. I think you'll realise what it is. I think we've actually done really well this season. The players we've lost, if you think we had um, Muasi out here, he was really good. We had uh, the centre-back Vranic. He came into the team and then obviously got big money move. Um, he's We sort of missed him as well. Uh, I just, I'm just i going to tell them assertively. I fully expect you to keep our run going. And then we'll go assertive again because it's an assertive sort of game, isn't it? We have to win. We have to win to put the pressure on Dynamo to make this, like, really exciting. We're going to go back into doo -doo -doo -doo, the TV view, um, which now means we have to speed the highlight up a little bit, if I remember rightly, because when you're in 3D, for some reason it slows it all down. Oh, no, that's a bit quick. That's a bit quick. Uh, we are going to go on key highlights because we've got three games. If these two games take a long time, then we'll do the cup final in another episode. However, if Dynamo win, and we... Basically, if we can't win the league in today's episode, I'll do the next game offline. Zerga scored. Brilliant. Um, so we're two points behind them going into the final game of the season. Oh my. Oh my. Uh, why aren't goal replays on? Replays, please. Thank you. Um, yeah, if we go into the last game of the season not having a chance of winning the league, then... 
we'll skip the last league game because we're going to finish second and we'll just do the cup final in this episode but we're putting him under pressure here Pritin putting Ulic under pressure goes back to Malik Malik goes long Zerga does well to win the header but Obonar is there Hazanovic back to Obonar again he goes up to Jugovic Jugovic to Obonar uh, by the way Pritin I don't understand I do not understand how he's scoring so many goals he has finishing of 8 still but he's scored 21 goals this season that's going to fall to their striker who hits the post and Skender gets it away Woo! Um, we'll take that because that could have been 1-1 straight away. Um, I'm just thinking, do we change the league table to the latest scores? Just so we can see them in here as well as Osijek. Well, we want Osijek to win. We want them to go into good form for the last game against Dynamo Zagreb. 25 minutes gone, nil nil in the other game. If Istra can get a win, that would be absolutely incredible. Uh, half an hour gone. Not much to report. Right, we've got a throw in, so we'll follow this and then I'll follow up with some big news. Paritin on the edge of the box. Pass his man, he ate it 2 0. And Dynamo are losing to Istra. Dynamo are losing. It's going to be potentially a one point game into the final game of the season. Come on, Istra, just hold on. Obono with a throw up the line. We didn't have a replay again. I've just realised we didn't have a replay event. Oh, gosh. I'm off, haven't I? Good save uh, from Evasov and Sorter gets it away. Oh my word. Oh my word. Winning the league this season was not on the cards at all. It was not on the cards. Uh, I'm, I'm just going to say I'm very pleased. I don't think I need to say much else. Very pleased. This The attacking midfield formation that we've gone to with, with Kuzmanovic sitting in there, he's one of our best players and I wasn't playing him in his best position. So it just sort of made sense to change this tactic to get the best out of him and it my god has it got the best out of him oh it's 1-1 dynamo have equalized kalimov getting a goal in the 52nd minute come on istra come on 65 minutes gone still 1-1 in the other game 2-0 here in uh, in zagreb as oh, i thought that was dynamo scoring again luckily they didn't we are all over this game they really haven't done very much rudez musa over a free kick. he loves it in a free kick that one goes just over the bar it's going to be two points into the last game of the season. I think they've beaten us more times this season than we've beaten them, which means that if it does stay as a two-point gap, we have to win and they have to lose for us to go a point above them in the league. But uh, that's going to be a tough order because Dynamo are very good. But this shows, look how much we've separated ourselves away from Hey Duke. We are, this season, have been easily the second-best club in Croatia, which is incredible. Periton brings that on. Chris Manic. Oh, Hits it just past the post. I'm just so excited. Come on, Istra. Come on, Istra. I will sell you someone for free. If you want any of my players, you'll get them for free if you win this game. Apart, Unless they're obviously a first team. That would just be stupid. Um, but yeah, come on. Ten minutes to go. Come on, Istra. I mean, a draw is also a good result. But we really just drew suit us in. He sticks that in the bottom corner with a wonderful finish. His first goal of the season makes it 3-0. Left-footed volley from Sorter. Our centre-back on loan from Zurich. And uh, Musa, just think this one into the space. What a finish that is. I'd be proud of that as a centre-back. That's absolutely incredible. Come on, Istra. Come on. They're not going to do it, are they? They're not going to do it. It's the 91st. Oh, Dynamo have scored in the 89th minute. The league is unreachable. Damn you, Dynamo. Damn you, Dynamo. You bastards. Bastard, bastard, Dynamo. They've won it in the 89th minute to wrap up the league. I mean, what a season we've had. What a season. The boys have been absolutely brilliant. It's been a great team performance. Yes, the people on loan. I've always said that I don't want that many loanies in. But the people on loan have done a really, really good job for us. Ah, oh, Dynamo... Dynamo goo the double. There you go. I mean, their manager was ex-Watford manager. Oh, so unlucky. But we do get second spot, which is very, very good. Um, very, very happy with that. It does mean now we can't win the league. We do have Europa League. Uh, Champ Europa League? No, we don't. We have Champions League qualification secured. Um, look at that goal difference. 45. Easily the best in the league. 75 points. So the next game is pretty much pointless. Well, it is pointless. We have second place secured. So we'll be back for the cup final where we're going to be playing Hey Duke Splits. It's cup final day and in classic football manner, those that watched the NK Maribor playthrough that I did, playthrough, save, whatever you want to call it, career, 
will know my frustration of that when I got to my first ever Slovenian Cup final, they organised it in an international week. The same thing has happened here. We're not too badly affected, apart from it is Josh De Silva, who has been absolutely amazing in central midfield for us, and our goalkeeper. I can't believe it. He's had a, such a good season, and he's not, he's not going to be able to play in the cup final because he's been called up to the Armenian international squad. Which means, in his final game for the club, because he's not got a new contract, Khrubez is going to be in goal. What a way to go out. I mean, I haven't looked to see how affected... You'd think Hey Duke would be affected more than us. Okay, a centre-back, winger. They've got their first choice goalkeeper, which is annoying. I mean, they're not that affected either, to be honest. Well, it's made the game slightly tougher. There's a lot of underlaying stories to this cup final as well, because we obviously have um, Abdul Musa, who's been playing very well for us, who we signed from Hey Duke uh, for 150k, and he's been much better than that value, which is brilliant. But they've also got Thomas Alvranik, the centre-back, who is very, very good and very, very tall, which is something we've got to remember. We're going to be lining up with Hrubez in goal, Dekovic, Skender, Sulta and Brito at the back. Abdel Musa and Prince are in the middle. Prince replaces the internationally bound Josh De Silva. Zerga on the right, Chris Manik in the middle and Hale Selassie plays with injections, something I've never done on Foot Manager for ever. He plays with injections on the left wing and Paritin starts up front. On the bench we have Youngster Palade, the goalkeeper, Ramic as the left back, Laughlin as the right winger, Coyd as the striker, Guegan as the central midfielder and attacking midfielder and or striker. Arejo comes in for the central midfield support and Mihakovic on the left. It's a very attack heavy bench. If we need to get the goals, this is where we're going for. They are in massive inconsistent form. A loss, a loss, a draw, a draw, a win, a draw. And we come into this a draw and four wins. We are the underdogs. They are the favourites with the bookies. Even though we've beaten them in the league, we've beaten them in the cups. Well, we haven't been in the cups. You know what I mean. We haven't beaten them in the cups. But yeah, we're, we're doing well. But it's all a one game event, isn't it? Because it's the cup. Final, our first, sorry, third division uh, West, but our first real chance of silverware. Do I say supporters? Do I say supporters? I'm just going to say keep our run going. I mean, I, I just, that's all I want. I just want, I so badly, we, oh, and we ended up losing the league by a point. Dynamo lost on the last day. We beat um, Slaven Blupo ridiculously easily it is the cup final we come out here i don't know where it's being played i haven't even bothered to look at that the last team huddles let's get it on to extended highlights for the cup final and we get it underway i am so shitting nervous i've just checked to make sure that i'd press record the microphone is recording oh my god it's just to, to finish finishing a point off top spot in the league and getting to the final what a season this has been I feel like we need some silverware to show what such a good season it's been I know that's really weird but that's just how I feel I feel like we need some silverware to show what a good season it's been Enrique with a throw into Abdel Musa. Musa comes forward he's got runners on the other side of him back heel to Paritin Paritin's in the box and shoots he's at the bar oh please don't be one of those games Please, please, please. And now Skender's given away a free kick. We don't want Skender to pick up an early card because that could be a downfall. He's quite a bruiser in centre-back. Oh, man, this is tough. Come on, boys, come on. 22 minutes gone. Dekovic with a throw up to Klizmanic. Knocks it down well to himself. Prince into Klizmanic. Bit of space. Back to Abdel Musa against his former club. Uh, signed for 150k from Hey Duke. Here's Halal Selassie on loan from Zurich. Prince back to Hale Selassie. Hail Selassie out to Enrique, into Prince, keeping the ball well here, Zagreb. Musa, Musa keeping it into Prince. Let's do something with this possession, though. Let's not just keep it for the sake of it. Skender, he goes long, looking for a Paritan, I think that was. Skender does well to intercept, but Grant nicks it off him, and Grant has the pace to run in behind, lays it off to Selic. Selic is there, right-footed crossing. It goes Skender with a good header away. It falls to Vicario, who's absolutely spanked it in for his 11th goal of the season. Oh man, this is not what we wanted. 1-0 down, it was a lovely finish from Vicario. But uh, Silicio Skender actually got what felt like a decent header away, but Vicario with one touch on the half volley, and Hrubez, the backup goalkeeper generally this season, 
Couldn't keep it out. 1-0 to Hayduke. Prince over the ball with a free kick. Hits it straight into the wall. Has another go and it goes just past the post. And Our coaching report has said that we've got a few players that don't like the big games. And one of them is Paritin, which is a concern. Hale Selassie shoots. It's deflected. Musa can't get his shot off. And Munez brings it away. And uh, here come Hayduke looking to launch on the counter. I think they've got a man over on this left-hand side. Saliga does try to find him. But it's Saltido, who's a midget. And is beaten in the air. Zerga comes forward. Can we now counter the counter? Zerga, he's run a long way, he's tackled very well, and Selic comes forward with it. Grant brings it away, left-hand side, Saltino with a good touch, but Dekovic is there to recover. Oh, it's the cup final, and we're losing. Usman with a throw, Hale Selassie gets it away, Munoz knocks it down, Usman back to Munoz again. Manzur, back to Munoz, in it goes to Vicari, the goal scorer, Munoz is there. Manzur, Manu, Munoz, I don't know why I keep saying his name wrong, Vukur, Benkovic, they haven't started Vranic, which is interesting against us. We sold him to him. Vukur, Benkovic, put under pressure, forced left towards Garski, all the way back to the goalkeeper, Kastilic, who is their first choice goalkeeper, unlike us. Would have, with Iasov solve that. Skender, oh, has missed that. Grant's in. Good save from Fubez as Skender made a lunging challenge at the back. Skender's looking nervous. He's not looking like he's enjoying this cup final. Saltido with a corner, and it goes. Dekovic with a good header away. Vicario back out to Saltido, who stayed on side. Skender with a header away. Vicario gets Munoz's knockdown. Vukur, and they can't do anything with it. And we are struggling to get the ball forward. Enrique into Peritin. Peritin onto the edge of the box, shoots over the bar. Dekovic with a throw. It goes to Zerga, who finds himself in a bit of space. Zerga cuts it back, and Krizmanek is there. 1 1, sixth goal of the season. He's on the side. Whew, I don't know what the Hayduke defence was doing there. It's 1-1 in the cup final. It's game on, ladies and gentlemen. Dekovic, Zerga here. They all stepped up as soon as that throw came in. Zerga cuts it back and Krizmanic isn't going to miss from there. 1-1. One, one. Oh, yes. Let's demand some more of them just before half-time. So they're going to come in to half-time already focused in the interval. It's a pretty... We are dominating possession. Other than that, it's a pretty even game. Oh, um... We've been the better team. That's what I'm going to go for. Assertively, there's more to come. And there is. We need to get out there and show them from the off there's more to come. We need Peritin to get into the game, although he doesn't really like big games, according to our coaching staff. But we do have Koidi on the bench, um, who you'd think, coming along from Zurich, who are a bigger team, or in a better league anyway, would pref like this sort of competition, would really enjoy a big game and a cup final. So we'll give, we'll give Peritin... Five, ten more minutes and see if he makes a difference. But at the moment, it's Hey Duke keeping the keeping the ball. They need to get back into this possession game. Enrique with the throw, and it goes to Abdel Musa. Musa lays it back to Perit, and he's in. Oh, he's in. Oh, yes, Krizmanic has got it. Oh my word, Perit in shot straight at the goalkeeper, hit the post. Krizmanic gets his second goal of the game, his seventh goal of the season. Oh, Paritin, what are you doing here? The marking from Hey Duke is absolutely horrendous. Mus Abdul Musa laid it back. Paritin with a fierce shot, right foot, then left foot, and the deflection off the post actually took the goalkeeper out of the game. And it is 2 1 in the cup final, and boy, have we turned this around. Hail Selassie, I think his injury's got the better of him, so he's going to come off and be replaced by Mihakovic, who probably is unlucky to be starting this game on the bench. But uh, Musa picks up that corner. It goes to Skender. Skender tries to keep it alive. Flicks it back into Musa. Musa to Zerga. Zerga is tackled. And Garski goes back to Castellic, who gets it away to Saltido. It's 2 1 in the cup final. 50 minutes gone. Saltido lays it out to the right hand side to Selic. The right back's pushed up for Hayduke. And Musa's there to intercept. Up to Prince. Prince now goes long for looking for Peritin. But that's poor. Peritin does bring it down, though. He comes forward. Peritin runs at the defence. Good tackle for Usman. But it falls back to Kuz Kuzmanic. Oh, looking for his hat-trick from attacking midfield. He's playing like he's got a point to move, Kuzmanic. I think, you know, he's trying to show me. Yeah, Bosh, you're definitely right changing this formation to suit me. I'm the key player in this team. Musa's not having the best of games against his former club. But we'll leave him on at the moment. Akhlubez out to Sorter. Sorter comes forward with it, goes up the line to Mihakovic. Mihakovic comes forward on the left-hand side, come on as a sub. He's got Peritin in front of him, he sort of runs into the defender. Abdel Musa keeps it alive. Prince with a shot from range, it's poor. And it's still 2-1, half an hour to go. Throw-in, Saltino knocks it back to the throw-in. Vicario, Munoz into Garski. Garski to Munoz again. Garski, are these two just going to play their own little game? Benkovic into Garski. They're, they're just holding the ball and they're a goal down. Are they just going to launch one over the top? We do press up very high in this formation. Castilic 
does go reasonably long, but it's won by Prince, I think it was, in the middle. Mihokovic on the left-hand side. Puts across him. Chris Manik! Oh, he's hit the bar! Oh, no, it's a save from the goalkeeper. What a save. What a save from Kristalik in goal. Prince with the corner looks to swing it in towards Chris Manik, and Berkovic gets his head to it. And it's a throw-in, but nothing comes of it. And I think we might have to take Moose Ruffle, though. Prince is getting tired. It's going to be youngster Mikhail Orejo if we do make a change. And it's rating or tiredness. Rating or tired. I'd always go rating normally. 15 minutes to go. And we're going to bring on someone that hasn't played too much for us. But is pretty good. Mikhail Orejo. We've secured his loan. It's all been confirmed for another season. 10 minutes to go. Um, do I praise them? Do I get creative? Do oh, I'm just going to demand more. We need to focus and see this through. 10 minutes. 10 minutes my friends and we could be on for a historic cup win in case Zagreb never won the Croatian Cup this is their second final ever Saltido out to Kalusi he's got loads of space he shoots oh please be offside it's not offside I feel like Aesov would have saved that how can he not be offside he's blocking the goalkeeper's view oh that is und that is Oh, unlucky. Oh, they've done it so late in the game as well. Going to be deflating four minutes of injury time. They're apprehensive. We're motivated. It goes straight to penalties. Oh, I really should have read the rules. I really, I hate penalties. We need to change this view. And we need to go behind the goal. Ah. Oh. Penalties. Here we go. Enrico Brito. Great signing on loan. Sticks it in the bottom corner. We take the advantage in the penalty shootout. It's a normal penalty shootout. None of that ABBA nonsense. It adds you can. Oh, I thought Hrubez had saved it. I'll tell you what. I'm quite tempted. If Hrubez saves the winning penalty, I'm quite tempted to give him a new contract. Krizmanic. Krizmanic steps up. Great game. Two goals. And he sticks his penalty down the middle. I thought they'd save that. 2-1. Saltido. Saltino, the Peruvian, I think he is. Shoots. Oh, Kubez goes the right way, but it's into the corner. Oh, my word. Mihakovic, left winger, done well when he came on. Zagreb, through and through. He's missed. Oh, Kastilic saves it. Yurisev. For hey Duke, right footed. Oh, Kubez goes the right way again, but can't keep it out. Sort of the centre back. On loan from Zurich. Sticks, that's a lovely penalty, left-footed. Really good penalty. Garski comes up. I think he's a fullback. We need a big save from Khrubez. Garski, he saved it! Khrubez, he's hit it straight at him and Khrubez has saved it. Michel Orejo, youngster, Brazilian. Just nothing silly. Nothing silly, lovely penalty. Oh, come on. Rubez, save this and you've got a new contract. Potentially. Is this the winning? If we save it, do we win? Yeah, I think we do. Yeah. Save this, Rubez, and it's a new contract. Oh, I thought he had saved it. Zerga. Tom Zerga was once our most expensive signing. Oh, my word. He's just stuck it in. He has just put that in. Is this going to be one of those penalty shootouts that just goes on and on and on? It's Usman for Hey Duke. Oh my, I'm, I just can't believe how nervous I am over a bloody computer game. Usman against Thrubez. Oh, Thrubez, it was straight down the middle. It went above him. Oh, Paritin. It's the guy who I was going to put higher up in the penalty order. Parit in. Oh, he sticks it away. Every time we score, it's pressure on them. Can they cope with it? Manzur steps up. I'm pretty sure he's a centre-back. Or maybe a holding midfielder. Come on, Fubez. Come on. Manzur to take it. Oh, I swear, Fubez has gone the right way every single time. Prince. He was knackered during the game. Oh, and he's... That's over the line. He's taken that over the line. 
He caught it over the line. Oh, Prince. Prince, you're not normally even the starting lineup. It's normally Josh De Silva. But Prince misses, and he's had that. I'm just staring at him in his long walk back. Kulusic. Come on, Rubez. He saved it! He saved it! Get in there! Oh, Dekovic, right back. Zagreb through and through, through the youth system. Dekovic. Oh, he's missed. Oh, from the highs to the lows. Vukur comes up. Rubez, we need another big save. He can't keep pulling these saves out. He just can't keep pulling these saves out. Vukur. He's blasted it home. And we lose on penalties in the cup final. I fucking hate penalties. There they are, celebrating away. Oh. We battered them. We absolutely battered them. Oh. Oh. I don't know whether I should just give Flubez another another deal anyway. He did so well. Oh. Well. There we go. That's it. That's the end of the season. We'll be back for a review of who's left at the club. Um, who's joined. Yeah, who's moved on. What's going to happen to Rubez? We'll leave that on a cliffhanger. Um, determined to prove his worth, and he very nearly did. Although he probably should have saved their second goal in the last few minutes. That's heartbreak. That is heart-wrenching. Heartbreaking, heart-wrenching, however you want to describe it. That is very, very tough to take. But, what a season. I mean, what a season. If we go into the confidence and go to uh, competition performance, first league, I mean... It's well above what they wanted. The Cup, I think, what did they want? Quarterfinals, we got to the final. Uh, the Euro Cup, they wanted to get to the third qualifying round. That's where we got to. But we're in the Champions League next year. Let's look at the positive. Champions League next year. Finished second in the league, one point behind Dynamo, which is the closest anyone's finished them for a long time. And, and runners-up in the Cup. So all in all, a very, very good season. A really, really good season. Um... And, you know, it's all down to you guys in the backroom staff over here. And we do have um, a, a 12th member, I think it is, of the Patreons that I need to add in. So uh, thank you for that. Thank you, everybody. It's the end of the season. We are going to leave it there. And uh, we'll be back for the start of the next season. And it's going to be good. It's going to be, are we going to win the league next season? Are we going to do it? One point behind Dynamo this year. Thank you ever so much for watching, everybody. Merchandise is available if you want a T-shirt with my name on it or a little one with a little CLF badge on it. Um, that's all in the link in the description. If anybody else wants a hoodie, Ken wins asked for one. If anyone else wants a hoodie, let me know down below. I'll design a hoodie and get one out there as well. But for now, that's the end of the season, and it's a heart-wrencher. Thank you so much for watching, but I'm out. Cheers.